and welcome to the first episode of On the Spot 101, your one-stop destination for all things Dalmatians. And today we're going to be talking about the Disney 101 Dalmatians trading card set. Um, these were released in 1996, I believe, by Skybox uh, to go along with the live-action remake of 101 Dalmatians. And I actually have a complete set here, so let's get started and go through the cards and see what this set has in store for us today. So I've divided the cards up into th their different types, and before we get into them, let's just go over the checklist. As you can see here, here's there's two checklist cards, and the first uh, set of cards are these story cards, which are basically just uh, scenes from the movie, as you can see here. They just depict different screenshots and a little bit of information on the back. As you can see, it says 1996 on there in Skybox. There are 27 of these cards, each with a, a nice little scene on them. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see. There we go. And after that, we have these Animal Pranks cards. So we have Animal Pranks, The Great Escape, Villains, and Puppy Love, and then the checklists. And that's all on this card. So the Animal Pranks are pretty much what they sound like. The different scenes where the animals prank Cruella in the movie and do different things like that. There are five of these cards. Four Great Escape card, uh, excuse me, five Great Escape cards. Um, let's see, five, I believe, villain cards, which show Jasper and Horace, Cruella, Mr. Skinner, Jasper and Horace again, and Cruella covered in molasses. Pretty, pretty cool. And then we have four Puppy Love cards, which basically depict our adorably sweet Dalmatians, which we love so much. Okay, let's go on to the next checklist. And we have character cards, build a doghouse cards, stickums, which we'll get to those in a minute. Um, pop outs, color in cards, and puppy pin ons. And as you can see, there are a total of 101 cards. Imagine that. So let me just get those set up and we'll go to those next. Okay, next we have these character cards, which are honestly probably my favorite cards out of this whole lot. Uh, they, as you can see, they depict the live action representative of each character. In this one, it's Pongo. And on the back, uh, it has a little description on each. Let's put that there. Here's Purdy, Cruella, Horace and Jasper. And then we have the pups. So we have Lucky, Jewel, Two Tone, Wizard. Oh, hold on. I still have another card stuck here. Yeah, Wizard and Fidget. And then the last card in this shows all of the puppies in their live action versions. And then on the back, it shows them all in their cartoon versions, which is pretty cool. Okay, and now on to these cards. These are the Build a Dog House cards. And the purpose of these is you uh, fold them along the lines, like in on the lines like you're supposed to. And then once you have all the cards, you build a little dog house like that. Now I didn't uh, I didn't pop these out because I wanted to keep them preserved but as you can see that's what it would look like if it was all finished and it has instructions as to how to build it. Uh, I remember when I was a kid I did build this at some point because I had a lot of extras but I no longer have the finished one, so I can't show you what it looks like. Okay, now we have stickers. Uh, we have Wizard, Fidget, I believe, Dipstick, 
Jewel, Two Tone, and Lucky, I believe. Yes, Lucky. And these are actually really thin stickers, but the card is kind of thick. So they don't really stick too well, if I remember right. So I just left them on the cards. They kind of look nicer that way anyway. Oh, and I almost forgot. Uh, these are the character pop-out cards, I believe. Yes, the pop-outs. And these, you uh, you can see there's an outline where you can push these out of the cardboard and then fold them so that they stand up and you have these little uh, cardboard stands of every character. So there's Cruella, Horace, and Jasper. And what's great about these is some of the puppies have... Uh, no names so that you can give them your own names which I always thought was pretty cool we have two-tone and wizard and fidget dipstick just like before and then we also have foggy which I believe in this version is the kernel that was in the animated version and then we have two sets of no name puppies but as you can see they are different uh, these were probably some of my favorites as a kid too just because I could get to play with the puppies this way. And, I don't know, they were just pretty awesome. <laughs> Next we have these coloring cards, which are color on one side and black and white on the other so that you can actually color them with colored pencils or markers, which I didn't do for any of these. Um, there are 10 different pictures to color, and four of them are actually of Cruella, but they're all just a little bit different as you can see. This one, she's holding one puppy by his collar. This one, she has two. This one, the puppy is hanging onto her cigarette. And then there's one with her without any puppies. These are all super, super adorable and very creative looking. You don't see many of these um, poses and designs anywhere else. So I think they're pretty special. And last but not least, uh, the cards came with these puppy pin on cards which, uh, as you can see from the back, you can put them on a shirt. I never quite figured out how to get this to work properly, so I just left them in the cards when I got duplicates and saved them. So, yeah. But as you can see, we have Lucky, Two-Tone, Fidget, Jewel, and Wizard. Each pack also came with uh, a little mini magazine. Um, and these were pretty cool because uh, they had special offers and told you told you more about the cards that came with the set. And there's like a little puzzle game inside. And on the back of each one, when I get oh see there's more games there. And on the back of it, there's uh, a dog trick that you can actually use to teach a real puppy some tricks. So there's teaching your dog to come, to sit, uh, to shake hands, and to fetch. And that's all for the regular cards and little magazines that came with it. And But there was, that's not quite all we're going to talk about. Um, every card pack also came with one of these, which is a, a, an offer for a 101 Dalmatians cassette player. But, since this set is over 25 years old, actually it's probably 26 at this point, I believe, it's kind of expired. Yeah. Then you fill this out to get the offer. And here, offer good and receipts must be dated between October 1st, 1996 and October 31st of 97. So, this offer is no good now, but you might still be able to find the cassette player on eBay. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't gone looking for it. So that's all for those. And there were also some special chaser, whoops, there were also some special chaser cards that uh, came in these sets. And I have these in a, in a protective sleeve for that reason. Uh, these are actually magnets. Uh, the center could pop out and you could put a picture in there if you wanted like to put on your refrigerator or whatnot. 
So we have that one and that one. They all pop out in the middle. And there's Pongo and Purdy. And then finally, the rarest foil cards in this set are actually the foil and fur cards. Now what's cool about these is the black part of the card is actually flocked, which means it's fuzzy. So when you touch it, it actually feels uh, really fluffy and furry to the touch, which is pretty cool. And that's why it's called a foil and fur card. Uh, there were two different cards, one with Corella and the puppies, and then one with just a puppy. And in both cases, the 101 logo is furry, and every black spot on the puppy is fuzzy. And you can sort of see, when I get the right light on it, you can see the little hairs and stuff everywhere. And that actually does it for the 101 Dalmatians trading card collection. Uh, Subscribe for more, and I hope you enjoyed it.